Okay, so I did not expect this to come today, but I got a text that this arrived at my door and I was like, okay, drop what I'm doing for today's video. I'm going to be reviewing the new Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. So if you want to see my thoughts on that, some comparisons, a demo, all that good stuff, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys, particularly Natasha Denona. They are one of those brands on my channel that I cover everything from. So I ordered this from the Natasha Denona website. I did pre-order it, so that's how I was able to get my hands on it. I know a lot of you guys were holding off to see if you could get this for the Sephora sale. Congrats to you if you did because it's already sold out. Like I didn't even have a chance to post about it being live on Sephora because it was sold out by the time I woke up. So if you got it, you're a winner. But um, it did just come back in stock at Sephora. So if you're rouge, run. Add it to your cart now if you want it. It did, however, just launch today on Beautylish and everywhere else that it is available. I will have it linked down below for your convenience. Yeah, I like ordering from Natasha Denona. I think they have really good shipping. It's very well protected. I also really love Beautylish as well. I try to order from Beautylish when I can. They always package very nicely and they also have fantastic shipping. So those are my personal recommendations. I love Sephora, but I, I hate their shipping. It's My stuff comes broken a lot. Yeah, anyways, that's where I ordered and you can get it at all the places. It actually launched November 5th. So like I said, this is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. It's going to be $59 and it is supposed to give you a complete ultra glam look. If you aren't familiar with the Natasha Denona line, she has quite a few glam products. We have my all-time favorite palette from Natasha Denona, the Glam Palette, which gives you these cooler neutrals. We also have the Mini Glam, a little bit warmer, but still quite neutral. So now we have the whole face palette. So I think the Glam line is doing well for her. I think what's really great about this palette is she's offered a light version and a dark version. Kudos to you, Natasha, for doing that. I really do feel like she's listened to her customers. It's not often that brands will come out with multiple color palettes, and I do have the light with me i don't have the dark but looking at least at the photos it seems like the dark is going to do a good job of covering the deeper skin tone range can't speak for that personally i did pick up the light it looked more appealing to me i am of a lighter skin tone <laughs> so it, this is a limited edition by the way so i do believe it's kind of like a holiday palette i don't know natasha denona is iffy on whether or not it's limited edition but i would say most of the time her limited edition stuff is actually limited edition but you do have some time to purchase so this is what the box looks like. It comes in this light champagne reflective packaging. And then here's the back if you need to take a look at any of the ingredients. Feel free to pause. You'll see that the palette is made in Italy and it has an 18 month shelf life. And the outer packaging is actually much more beautiful than I anticipated. So it is that mirrored front. You can see all of my fingerprints on it already. But I love how everything is like more rounded. I don't know. Her packaging hasn't ever been so rounded. It just looks very chic to me. It's really, really cute in terms of sizing compared to the Glam palette. It is slightly, slightly smaller than a midi palette, but just barely. I like that it is a magnetic closure and it does kind of hold up on its own if you're using this as a mirror. You do get a nice mirror and then here is what the palette looks like. We have five eyeshadows along the bottom and then we have two face products up top. I love that we get a cover and it doesn't even fall down. It holds up on its own. Small things, but it makes a difference when applying to cover the cheek products. Is a blush, is a cream. So that's the packaging. I am going to turn the lights down and we're gonna do some swatches. I like to turn it really dim because I feel like you can really see the colors here. So take a good look at the formulas. I'm gonna swatch the face products first. I'm really excited about this cream blush because I haven't seen this formula since the mini bloom palette which was the first of her little face squad she also has this formula in the daria palette and the other big face palette but her recent tan love 
Little Love. All of these have not had this cream blush formula, and I love it. If you look really closely, it looks like kind of like a soft matte. Now, what I am seeing is a little bit of glitters. I don't know if you can see that, but let's swatch it. It actually feels a little bit more dry. It doesn't feel really like a wet cream. I would say it feels almost like a powder, but as we're getting in the underlayer here, it does start to feel a little bit more creamy, but it's definitely a drier cream. It's very interesting. And it's not overly pigmented, but it looks really beautiful. I actually quite like this shade. So the cream blush is described as a neutral pink with a matte finish. Let's do the Star Glow Highlight. Ooh, this feels really creamy. It definitely feels like a powder though, but very, very smooth and pigmented. A light champagne with a metallic finish. Oh my gosh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm really going to like this. As these labeled how to use them, obviously you can use them however you would like. I mean, these definitely make sense to me. Transition crease, smoke, outer corner, inner corner, makes sense to me. But of course you can use it however you would like. And she got a lot of feedback that was quite negative about labeling the shadows like these when she came out with the glam palette, you know, like the crease, outer corner, because it didn't translate well depending on what your skin tone was. I guess now that she has two different versions, that kind of helps with that. So let's do it. We're gonna need to go into the inner corner. Oh my goodness, okay. The transition and the crease shade. These feel really, really good. You definitely have to like neutrals for this palette though. But we have a light nude with a metallic finish. Then we have a nude pink with a matte finish, and we have a medium nude with a matte finish. Okay, we're gonna do outer corner. Oh my gosh, these metallic shades feel incredible. The mattes feel in line with her regular mattes. Beautiful as ever, but I can't get over this. We have a nude rose gold with a metallic finish and a dark brown with a matte finish. I mean, listen, boring as you may call this, these are the kind of colors that I like to wear. I love this color story here. My initial thoughts on this, I definitely looked at it and was like, <laughs> that looks like something that I do not need at all, but I love it. I love these colors. So here are what the final swatches look like. I don't believe she's come out with a metallic formula quite like this, because these are almost flaky, but in a really creamy way. Like they're not flaky all over, but oh, they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm very happy with the swatches. So we are going to start off with the cream blush. I'm going to apply with a sponge on one side and then a brush on the other. So I'm just gonna use my beauty blender. It's gonna get in there. It's quite subtle when I do this. It's actually like the perfect application for a natural blush. So I did just press a little bit harder in the pan. I mean, that's absolutely gorgeous. How it compares to the cream blush in the Mini Bloom is that Mini Bloom is way too pigmented. I still love that Mini Bloom cream blush, but this is definitely more subdued. And this is kind of a great everyday color. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 106 just to see if it defers at all. I feel like this picked up initially more color. It is more dense. And I like the way both are applying. I don't know that I have a preference. I think I will choose based on what I use to apply my foundation. I feel like the sponge side is a little bit more natural, that's for sure. The brush side picked up more pigment. But I like this blush. It didn't seem to pick up any of the foundation underneath and it's a really beautiful, natural, wearable color. So I'm a fan of that. Let's do the highlight now. This. <laughs> This looks insanely gorgeous. The Star Glow. Oh, yes. So we do get a little bit of kickback. Mm, this is gorgeous. It's definitely a metallic finish, but not an unflattering metallic finish. You know how sometimes metallic finishes just don't quite blend into the skin? They look like they sit on top of the skin and emphasize texture. This is not giving me that. It's blending into the skin beautifully. It's a solid highlight. I mean, we have so many highlights now that it takes a lot for a highlight to really, really impress me, but this is definitely one of the good ones. This is a beautiful highlight, actually. 
Okay, um, <laughs> so the face products I'm loving. Let's get to the eyeshadow now. I just have a little bit of concealer on my eyelid that's gonna suffice for our base today. As far as I can tell just by the swatches, I mean, this is consistent with her regular line formula. So we're gonna start off with the transition. I think I'm definitely going to do as they suggest here. So I'm using an Alamar Cosmetics brush. We do get a little bit of kickback as you do with typical Natasha Denona matte shades. And this is a beautiful kind of pinky transition shade. Very nice. I mean, I definitely feel like this palette caters to my skin tone very well as to where they suggest to apply it because even this transition shade is like the perfect transition color for me. And transition colors are where it can get a little dicey. It's actually a transition color or not. And that along the lower lash line. But the point of a transition color is kind of to cover basically almost the entire eye. <laughs> not quite, but really this is the color that's going to peek through underneath the look. I'm just gonna stay with this brush. Let's dig into the crease shade now. This has a little bit more of a brown base to it. Ugh, I mean... This is going to be a good palette, you know. Natasha's not going to mess up a neutral palette, that's for sure. I mean, everything is blending. For a typical crease shade, you don't want to go quite as high as the transition. You can see I still have my transition peeking through. But the transition also kind of lays down the base to help the crease colors blend better. Taking the smoke shade with the Sonia G Soft Definer, just a little bit. Tap off the excess. And I'm just going to pop this in kind of the outer V area. And on me, it honestly isn't too dark. For a smoke shade, I typically prefer something a little bit deeper. I think you're definitely going to get that smokiness with the deeper palette. I know a number of you said, you know, you're light like me, but the eyeshadows in the deeper palette appeal to you better. So if you are that person that almost likes not quite a black, but pretty close, a deep, deep brown outer V, for smoke, that's what you're gonna get in the deep palette. I feel like I would have liked the deep palette too. I would have had to adjust, of course, especially with those face products, but the deep looked really pretty and you guys are right. The shadows in the deep really allow for like a deep smoky glam eye if you're around my skin tone. And I know a number of people actually already have reviews up with the deep palette and it looked gorgeous. So if you're into more of a deeper kind of neutral glam, Take a peek into those reviews of the deeper palette. I kind of regret not picking it up now. So this is about as deep as I'm able to get it. And obviously I have other shades from other palettes that I can dig into. Uh, but in terms of if I was stuck on an island and only had this palette, I would feel, oh, I would like a black or a even deeper chocolate brown. Definitely more suited towards lighter skin tones because it's not like it didn't add depth. It definitely did. Let's play with the exciting shadows. So this outer corner shade right here, I'm gonna put this in the outer half of my lid, oh my goodness. These formulas are reason enough to buy this palette. <gasps> this is right up my alley for formula. It's not quite a glitter, but it has that texture that makes it look glittery. It's not chunky at all. Oh my goodness, I'm not getting too much fallout. This is so pretty. Okay, let's do the inner corner color now. I'm just popping it to the rest of my lid. Oh yeah. I mean, I am very pleased with this look and this palette. I'm going to go back in with my smoke brush that I used and let's soften these edges. And it's going to add a little bit more depth to this look. Let me add a little bit more of the smoke out here. So in terms of fallout, maybe just a little bit from those lid shades. You can always adjust that with a little bit of glitter glue, but honestly not bad at all with the fallout. I'm going to take a little bit of the outer corner metallic shade and let's just brighten up the eye down here. Here, just a little bit. Oh yes, I love this. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of my look. We'll do comparisons and my final thoughts. Okay, so here's the final look all together. I used a brown liner in the waterline, a black liner on the upper lash line, and some Ardell lashes. On my lips, I'm wearing the Dana Lip Pencil from Natasha Denona and the Claudia Lipstick. I'm freaking obsessed with this look. This is my favorite kind of look. So I wanted to do some swatch comparisons for you guys. So the blush that I wanted to compare, and I knew they weren't gonna be the same, but the formulas look the same. 
So I compared the cream blush to the cream blush in the Bloom palette. And they are so different. Honestly, the Bloom palette actually feels a lot creamier and more wet. Whereas the blush, which is going to be right here in the Glam Face palette, it's a little bit more dry feeling. It feels like a cream powder. I don't know, a cream that's like powdery. It's hard to describe, but it has a lot less pigmentation. It has much more of a matte finish. The Bloom has a crazy amount of pigmentation. So those are not even really comparable. I swatched the Star Glow highlight next to everybody's favorite Natasha highlight, which is Nude Glow. It's more golden and it's a little bit more subdued. The Star Glow is more metallic, but I do like how the Star Glow is blendable into the skin so you can tone it down, but they definitely look different. If you have the I Need a Nude Glow highlight, it's different than the Star Glow highlight. And I also did swatch comparisons between the Midi Glam Palette and the Face Glam Palette, and there really are not dupes. So right here is the Face Glam. It's gonna be these bottom five shades, and right here is the Glam palette, and you can see it's more gray. There's nothing pinky like the transition shade in the Glam face palette. The crease shades are kind of close. The one in the full size Glam palette's a little bit more orange, and the smoke shades are actually kind of close, but you can see the slight undertone difference. I feel like maybe in the swatches, the shimmer shades look similar, but in person, they don't. You can see the shimmer shades in the face palette, have more fine particles of glitter that are very, very pretty. I prefer this metallic formula. Don't get me wrong, the formula in the regular Glam palette is beautiful in the metallics, but they're missing those extra little sparkles. And then if you do have the mini Glam palette, I wanted to show you compared to the face Glam palette, and they are not really similar at all. This palette is a little bit more warm and pinky. So this is the face palette, and then this is the mini Glam palette. The mini Glam definitely is a little bit more taupey. So if you have the mini Glam, it's definitely a lot more different from the face palette. Okay, so final thoughts. I mean, I love this palette in terms of colors that I like to wear I know that whatever look I create with this palette I am going to really love it I really love this cream blush formula I don't think Natasha has one like this in her collection in terms of colors it's not overpowering I feel like you can't apply too much it's very flattering on my skin tone the highlight might be a bit too metallic for some of you but it actually is quite versatile because you can blend it down to be a little bit more natural I do think most of you would still prefer that I needed a glow highlight but this one is still beautiful. I really like it. And there's something special about these five shades. I love the formula of the shimmers. The mattes are really easy to work with. Now, is this a unique palette? No, you can probably get very close shades and very similar looks within your own collection. If you have a lot of Natasha products, I mean, again, it's definitely easy to create a similar if not identical look but i think it's just about the ease of use with this one I, it's very very travel friendly in terms of it's able to stand up on its own you have all that you need it's versatile enough to create a few different looks and it's just really nice and handy to have i'm very happy with this and i love the formula so much that i really am considering picking up the dark one i really love this and even though i have these colors a hundred times over these are colors that I'm never going to get tired of and the quality is just so good and the curation is so good in this palette. Highly, highly recommend it. Honestly, you guys, it's worth the full price in my opinion. It's very, very convenient and it makes sense and the quality won't disappoint you. So that is all I have for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.